Hey guys, it's July 14th, 2021, and if you're like me, you might have been surprised to see this email in your inbox or to see it on a, on a forum or online this morning that uh, they have actually released a new OS for the OP1, OS 243. And the, uh, the big update is USB over audio, which is quite surprising um, to myself. I'm not a programmer, but the, uh, the older USB uh, just surprised that this architecture is, is in place for them to rewrite this code. And there's, uh, there's a couple other small updates, that being the biggest of them. Uh, the other ones being that um, they've improved the stability of the external tempo sync. And when the tape is armed, the OP1 receives a play command and starts recording, which is pretty sweet. So I thought I'd just uh, do a quick walkthrough in case you haven't updated your OP1 before or it's been a while and uh, also walk through um, putting it through its paces and um, using it in Ableton. We'll see how this USB over audio works. So we're gonna go to the downloads page here and uh, we got 243, click to download. I'm gonna save that to the desktop and I'm gonna replace it since I already downloaded it earlier. And so that's now on our desktop and then our instructions are right here. So we're going to plug in the OP1. Via USB, we're gonna flick it off. We're gonna hold down the COM button and power that on. That's gonna take us to the boot screen. We're gonna press number one. And it's pretty straightforward once the uh, once the OP1 shows up on our computer, which for some reason mine is not. Something interesting here, my OP1 was actually named something different, but it looks like it's showing um, as OP1 now, and yours might have said untitled before, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna guess that that is it, even though it's not showing any of our um, tape or any of that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and grab that puppy and copy it over. It says to eject the disc. And it looks like it's found the firmware and it's calculating it and rewriting it as we speak. It says it's found the firmware and it's unpacking it. Now it's all complete. It says restart the OP1. So let's give her a go. It's showing 243 on the boot. And now let's, uh, let's see what this looks like inside of Ableton. Before I even boot up Ableton Live to give this a test drive, I noticed that I was already getting um, warnings for my other software. Not warnings per se, but uh, showing that there was another sound card available. So uh, you can double check that before you uh, open up your DAW, but I just went uh, on OSX to System Preferences to Sound, and then uh, in my output and obviously my input, um, it's seen uh, there that that it's the uh, the OP1 is available as a sound card. So it's not only uh, being able to port your audio from your OP1, but it also can use it as a sound card for using the the line in. Um, which is, which is quite neat for y'all that might not have a sound card um, to have that functionality as well. All right, now we're in our DAW or uh, Ableton, as it were here. And we're gonna open up system preferences and you can do that by pushing command comma or you can go up to live here and go to preferences. And under preferences, on our audio input device, we should be able to click down and now see the OP1, which we do. And once we have selected that, now our external in should be the OP1. So um, let's give it a test here. And we are getting audio, so that's great. And uh, let's try to record it. And there it is. So it is working uh, flawlessly, first time. Uh, we'll play it back here. Even 
and got a perfect loop. So that's pretty awesome. So if you guys are having any issues with this, uh, drop a comment down below and I'll see what uh, myself or the community can do to help out. Uh, it really helps the channel if you hit that like and subscribe button, hit the bells for notification. We really appreciate uh, everybody that follows the channel and uh, thank you for your support. Have a great day.